Super Dragon Ball Z! So, what do you want to play? Hello, Mr. Nealon here. Welcome to Super Dragon Ball Z, a game released in 2006 or 2005 for the PlayStation 2. It's a fighting game. I did buy it in the store as well, this game. I never played much of it because uh, it was based on an arcade system released only in Japan. So there were an arcade in Japan uh, where you have to like pay in order to play fighting game arcade and then they made it into a PS2 title so there are very few playable characters very few modes in this game so it's a port of an arcade oh, game you play? It takes this place up until the, the uh, cell saga okay so the original story you have if the you sea survivor it, you'll be able to get all the dragon balls in one go and at the end, there's someone no one's seen before. Get in there and do your best! Right, and then there's training. training too, you know. If you keep training, then eventually you'll be unbeatable! Have some matches against your friends. Then you can show us what you learned while training. They have the versus mode, but it's only against friends, I believe. I don't think there is a versus computer, unfortunately. No, you need a second player here. We have all the characters thanks to a save. We also have custom characters for each character and level them up and such. So, what do you want to play? Once you have all seven Dragon Balls, you can summon Shenron. Then he'll grant your wish. Alright. This is where you make or delete customized characters. If your EXP cage is full, you'll be able to power up by learning new skills! Character customization, create character card, erase character card. Let's go to character customization. You can have custom characters of each uh, favorite character in the game. And of course we can have uh, different colors and different skills Six skill tree We have no unique skills here Train a new skill oh, We have all the 7 Dragon Balls Acquiring new 
Scale. Use the directional buttons to highlight the side scale. Press X button to confirm. Alright, so you can choose between these two. Attack app raises attacks slightly. Ultimate gouge upgrade increases the amount of ultimate gouge available at start of a match by one. Sync ultimate gouge upgrade. Yes, we will go for attack up. Okay. Okay, so we have three options. <clears throat> Surround attack. Attack after wrapping around the opponent's back. And uh, infinite break and an unblockable strike. It's very slow. It stuns an opponent. Or the third one, rising sound. Lightning fast kick. If it hits, the opponent is hurled up into the air. Right. Wrapping around the opponent's back. Okay, I think we'll go for the... Let's train a new skill. Right. Train another skill. So three options: ground speed up, speed for around, speed for ground movement increases. This is not. This does not affect uh, dashing. Uh, weight increase, character's weight increases, making it harder for opponents to affect them with aerial combos or impact up when attacks hit. Opponents are thrown further. Choose ground speed up. And we have one more skill to go. Three options, armor strike, while doing a dashing attack, the character will not be knocked down if hit by attacks. Okay. Uh, shield sprint, while using a hamming attack, the character can take energy blasts without uh, being knocked down. Or assault style, unable, usable when the character's health is below 35%, attack power shoots up, defense power fails. Falls. Real sprint well using a hamming attack, the character can take any blast without being knocked down. Armor strike while doing a dashing attack, the character will not be knocked down if hit by attacks. While using a hamming attack, the character can take energy blasts without being knocked down. Yeah, I guess the evil one. Available skills. So these five. This color. We can have this uh, purple look too. So this game is based on the manga, not the anime. So they look more like in the in the manga. This is how Android 18 looks in the manga. They're more detailed in how they're drawn. I think the models look better here than in the in the other places in two games they are not as many the characters we have a lot of different colors and have a player name too so this game is uh, a port of an arcade released only in Japan well the PlayStation 2 game was released worldwide and uh, it's based no, on the manga in play? style go to options again. This the sound is too high. Okay, now it's good. Auto save on. 
that the style of the game is based on the manga, not the anime, unlike all the other games released for the for consoles. I believe all of them are based on the anime. Uh, we can play the arcade mode, the original mode, where we fight consecutive battles up until we meet the boss cell. We can also play Survivor, Sea Survivor. Or uh, we can train, we can play versus, but only if we have another player. Uh, and then uh, Dragon Summoning is, uh, we can use the Dragon Balls. We can try that. The one custom character, let's use her. Yes, it's okay. Shenron and grant my wish. Yeah, I like this model better. Looks more detailed. You will have only okay, so we can grant a wish. Uh, get a wish granted by Shenron. So in this game, when you play, you play the story mode, I mean the arcade mode, up until Cell, and then you can also play the other modes, and you can find the Dragon Balls, seven Dragon Balls, and you have all the seven Dragon Balls, you can summon Shenron, and he can grant you a certain wish, as f for one of your characters. Now I already had all the Dragon Balls and all the characters, thanks to the save file. Uh, so your wish is granted. This wish can be granted more than once. Wishes are separated by character card. Okay. Stat upgrade. Inherited moves. Citra. Stat upgrade. Power to drain energy. You have learned a special rare skill. And using energy blasts, your ultimate gauge will gradually fill up. Give me ultimate power. Okay. Uh, acquired rare skill. When health goes below 35%, you won't be able to guard. The attack power will be increased. I want more stamina. Action gauge will refill more quickly. Show my full potential. Ultimate gauge upgrade. When hit by your blocking an attack, your ultimate gauge will go up. Misses don't count. Uh, I want Burning Rage, you will gain more ultimate gouge when hit by your opponent's attacks. Then there is a question mark, it's a special requirement for this wish. Okay, and same for the other one, they don't work for for every character. And this one, Inherited Moves, Vegeta, will be learned. However, skills currently being inherited will be forgotten. Then my rival Super. Vegeta will be learned, however, I see if we can learn Vegeta super attack because only certain characters have super attacks in this game. Characters like Goku and Frieza and Vegeta, if we can learn that move here. Okay. Currently being, uh, <coughs> however, skills currently being inherited will be forgotten. Okay, Let's see, so all the characters didn't have unique specials. Citra, train like I used to. In your battle data, all skills will be fast. Uh, no, in your ba in your battle data, all skills will be lost, and character advancement will have to begin again. All gained experience will return to the experience gauge. Dragon, please change my name. Current name will be cleared. Shannon will apply the new name from my true power. Before each match begins, your victory. Uh, Ratio will be displayed, a new color floats. Uh, obtain a new color, so we can get new colors through the Shenlong Wish. New colors for the character. Uh, but I believe we will learn the, my rival's power or super. Very well. Eat the inheritance battle skill. Key slicer learned. Farewell. Farewell. Alright, saving successful. So, what do you want to play? 
So, uh, customize. They do not have any Dragon Balls anymore. They check Frieza. He has. We have Dragon Balls for all the characters. We can wish that for everyone. We already used the Android 18 card. It's only one wish per character. Okay. Can't play VS mode. They did a mistake when porting this game. The usual mistake they do with arcade games. They added a VS mode against the players, but not against the computer. Of course we have the C survivor mode, but that's just a survival mode where you choose a character and fight until you lose. Uh, which is tiring after a while. And then you have the training mode where you can learn the skills. And you have the original mode where you play the arcade up until Cell. But the enemies are like uh, different based on what character you play as. Uh, but you can't select the enemies yourself. In the VS mode you usually can select your enemy characters but because they didn't include the CPU, uh, the computer player, uh, you need a, an actual uh, human player in order to enjoy VS mode in this game versus mode. So that sucks. Okay, in this game by the way, you can check the VS mode. We have all these characters, and we can play the normal characters or the custom characters. If they are custom, they can have unique skills, like for example this Android 18 has a lot of uh, learned attributes and skills that make her stronger than other characters that do not have any skills. We have uh, the 7 Dragon Balls for all the characters, and we can play custom characters with everyone. This is ideal when playing against a different uh, uh, player character. If I play against a friend or a family member, etc., then they can also have custom characters with unique skills and such. They play in, in the story mode in the arcade and, and uh, unlock new skills and such through gathering the Dragon Balls and wishing stuff from Shren Long Sen. You can, you can play against a friend and uh, both of you can have custom characters you have created, or you can just play with the <coughs> play without using unused card then you just pick a character so you can play as ultimate Gohan which is future Gohan have some Gohan then we have Vedo female character we have Majin Buu and we have Cyborg Frieza we have Frieza in its final form we have Android 18 we have Krillin, we have Team Gohan, Son Gohan, we have Son Goku, looks like normal Goku here, but in the portrait he is Super Saiyan Goku, which is weird. We have Trunks, Future Trunks, we have Perfect Cell, we have Vegeta, the black look, we have manga based colors here, we have Android 17. Android 16 and the Piccolo, the nail look. Some of them probably have custom looks here, colors. We have Adult Chichi too. She fought in the World Tournament just before Dragon Ball Z started. And we have Evil King Piccolo and we have Evil Majin with Gita. Okay. <coughs> this is the yes mode. I don't believe we can change the load data from the memory card piece to the post oh, to select like. button. Right, but I don't believe we can select for the other player if we do not use a second controller. This mode only works if you have two players. And uh, now I failed to get out of this view. Fuck! With a mistake. Yes, we will have to end here and make another video where I do not enter this phase because I can't back down. Sucks. 
Okay, I did a mistake. I didn't want two videos. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll have to make another video. This is like a preview video. We'll play in the next video. I didn't want two videos, but I don't want to remake everything I just did. Uh, we can't exit. Maybe I will have to remake it. So when I exit the... Um, uh, now I know it's out to save. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. Because I have no choice but to exit. As I enter the versus mode and do not have a second controller, so I can't exit. It's a big mistake. Okay. And it sucks in this game that they didn't include the CPU player in the versus mode. So we can't select uh, the enemy character unless you have a friend to play against. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. And by the way, this game has gorgeous graphics, but unfortunately too, too few characters and uh, it's based on the Android Saga, so the, um, all of the characters pretty much are from the Android Saga, except a uh, few that are from the Blue Saga. Okay, and Chi Chi is a bonus character. Okay, and this has unique looking manga based graphics that I like. I just don't like that it lacked the versus CPU versus mode and uh, that if you play multiplayer in this you need a, you need to play locally there is no multiplayer online mode or anything okay but the arcade is good and the survival mode and the training mode but, but it's easy to tire on the arcade after a while okay and this game plays like Street Fighter made by some of the same developers that developed Street, Street Fighter 2 I believe uh, so it's a Street Fighter styled Dragon Ball game very unique and good looking as I said the, the hand drawn uh, art style of the models looks very detailed and unique okay thank you for watching bye